Hello guys, my name is Vic and I'm back to show you a coin that has high potential. But before anything else, I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor and everything I say here is not a recommendation to buy and sell crypto. And you must do your own research first before deciding for yourself, okay? So the name of the coin is Taft coin, so this is rank number 799 coin market cap. And it, right now its current value is 0 0.004652. Okay, so its market cap is $2,115,138. Volume is 131057 dollars Circulating supply is 454,636,709 DAB and its total supply is 1,380,000, 1 billion rather, 380,276,938 DAB. Okay, so this is the chart of the DAB coin. Okay, and you can get this coin at this um, exchanges um, Bitforex. BTC, Bilexi, IDEX, and LA token. Okay, so their social media account is also here. Okay, so let's proceed to their website. Okay, this is their website, guys. So, the coin of transportation, blockchain based transportation protocol. Enabling a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer global transportation network. So be the first to know about app updates and announcements. So you put your email address here, okay? So we're they are building a decentralized infrastructure to revolutionize the transportation industry on the blockchain. So what is DAB? So this is the overview of DAB. Okay. So just um, view this one, okay. Also, the first Australian company to utilize DAV protocol for shipping and logistics. Alright, so DAV's protocol allows anyone to utilize transportation services or put their own land or autonomous vehicles on the network, creating a decentralized peer to peer transportation ecosystem. What blockchain means to transportation today? So, centralized ride hailing. Drivers and passengers can have to communicate directly with each other using blockchain with no middleman taking part of the revenue. So convenient city transportation. So access convenient transportation around your city and earn DAB tokens to charge your bike or scooter. Decentralized man deliveries. Send and receive packages with a push of a button with decentralized man deliveries on the DAB network. Okay, so what blockchain means to transportation tomorrow. So that's today. And here's tomorrow. So autonomous drone deliveries. Drones communicate with each other and service providers for deliveries, charging, and maintenance. Autonomous carriers. So what supply carriers pick up material, navigate to their destination, are paid for the service autonomously. Autonomous ride sharing. Get a ride from an autonomous car or share your own car on the network and earn DAB tokens. Okay, so the blockchain enables. So these are for a verifiable ledger of historical data from service providers, manned or autonomous vehicles, and users needed for insurers and third parties. Complete decentralized system that isn't controlled by any government, bank, or company. A global payment standard between vehicles and their supporting infrastructure. A built-in smart mission contract which enables trustless cooperation between multiple vehicles and service providers right so technology the job is a framework of open source software open source hardware and a free decentralized marketplace where anyone can buy and sell autonomous transportation services their technology consists of three major components so decentralized discovery Trustless cooperation tools and communication protocol. Okay, 
to a decentralized discovery that allows autonomous vehicles to discover each other as well as service providers and clients around them. That, uh, that implements centralized node discovery using a peer to peer protocol that does not rely on a central server. Instead, nodes are listed in a distributed hash table which can be accessed in, a, in an extremely efficient way. Communication Protocol The DAV defines a library of standardized communication protocols for various transportation scenarios. This communication is divided into two groups. So on blockchain communication done directly by calling smart contracts and through events emitted by those smart contracts. This one is off blockchain communication done peer-to-peer -peer using DAV's protocols. And the third is trustless cooperation tools. The trustless cooperation between buyers and sellers of transportation services is achieved using a series of specialized smart contracts. These smart contracts enable multi-party contracts between lawyer, seller, and when needed, between arbitrator, insurer, and others. These contracts are tied in directly to the DAM token, guaranteeing financial resolution for transactions between multiple parties without requiring any pre-established trust. Right, so explore what they've built so far. So let's click some. Let's view the protocols that they have built already. So number one is a drone charging network. So DAV connects drones and charging stations in on, on an open network where they can buy and sell charging services using DAV tokens. Current status: the DAV Alliance member has made available a network of five charging stations in northern Italy. These stations offer charging services through the DAV network in exchange for DAV tokens. Okay, so there's already five charging stations in northern Italy. Okay, so next one is drone flight planning. DAV connects drones and service providers, allowing them to buy and sell flight planning services on the DAV, DAV network using DAV token. Drones pass the waypoints of their planned trip and the road planner business. So, to offer a service in exchange for DAV tokens, once a mission has been awarded, the service provider returns a list of coordinates to fly through so that the drone can reach the, its destination safely. This flight plan takes on into consideration environmental, topographical, and regulatory considerations. So, current status integration with the DAV Alliance member has been completed and the service is currently offered in Nevada, USA. Right, so it's already offered in Nevada, USA. Okay, so drone missions app. So missions is the first app built to showcase the DAV ecosystem. It's, it connects users lo looking to ship packages with autonomous drones. Users request drone services. Drones bid for those services. A trustless cooperation is enabled by using the blockchain. So current status. Integration with the first drone partner, Copter Express, is underway. Alright, so next one is DAV CLI testnet. So, their command line interface or CLI tool was built to make developing applications and services that interact with DAV a much more pleasant experience. It allows developers to, see, to easily run a local testnet containing DAV contracts, generate identities secured by private and public keys, and register them on the blockchain. This allows anyone to easily scaffold new projects or modify an existing one to interact with DAV and more. So the current status of this is fully functioning testness and identity generation already used by foundation projects. Work on connecting the registration functionality with the identity smart contract is in progress. And the DAV developer portal. So their DAV developer portal incorporates API documentation communication protocols and instructions for running our, their command line interface, local testnet and blog explorer. So the current status is multiple communication protocols written and a user guide for their UCLI tools is now available. The blog explorer. So their blog explorer allows users to explore local Ethereum testnets. This eases development and debugging for developers building apps and services on top of DAB. Current status work is underway to pa package the block explorer, enabling it to launch automatically from the DAV CLI tools. Mission control. 
So Mission Control serves as a discovery and communication layer that connects and keep track of vehicles, users, and services. Fully working for running simulated environments with drone deliveries. Currently being expanded to support the vehicles of their first partners, Autonomous Boat. Dev in the California Maritime Industry, or University rather, are developing an autonomous boat called M3MO, or NEMO, pronounced as NEMO. When launched at the end of September, NEMO will task with collecting oceanographic, oceanographic measurements in the San Francisco Bay. When NEMO runs low in energy, it connects to the DAO network, purchase and pay for charging services with DAO tokens, and after it charges, head back to sea. Demo will demonstrate true autonomy by spending money to take care of its own needs, allowing it to, co to operate independently for long periods at sea. So, boat is ready. Work on the onboard computer and its final integration with the DAO network is in progress. So, Osarian search and rescue robot. So, DAO and Osarian are robotics protocol prototyping platform are developing a PLC involving an autonomous robotic rover that will perform drone search and rescue out missions. The rover will bid for missions to locate drones that have lost contact with their owners, go to their last known location and then using its onboard light, LiDAR and computer vision, find them and send back to their exact coordinates. The current status, Ross Boat's computer vision algorithms are being updated to support identifying drones. Okay, so that are their protocols, so let's proceed. This is the roadmap. Okay, as you can see. So the white paper is here. Okay. And their team is here also. So their team is um Interesting of uh, very very known persons from NASA, from Ethereum, from Equinix, from SAP, from UPS, from Bancor, from IBM, and from Cisco, and also from Ford. Okay, so this is very very great, guys. Right, so the DAV Alliance. So the DAV Alliance brings together members of the transportation industry so that they may collaborate on standards and innovations for global decentralized network. So this is the DAV Alliance members. It's a lot of it, so I'm just going to show you this one. You can click um, the Alliance page if you want to view the full list of the DAV Alliance. Right, so. They also have their YouTube channel, guys. So if you want to be updated weekly on the DAV token or the DAV network, just subscribe at their channel. Okay, so they'll, they'll upload um, from time to time. And some facts about DAV here. Okay, so what is DAV? What does this need to be? Why does this need to be on the blockchain? There's a lot of it here. You can find it at the dav.network. Right? So this is their website, so the dav.network. Okay, guys. So I think that's it. Right? So see you on the next video. Please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe. Bye bye.